Hey guys, today we're working on an HP Chromebook uh, 11 G3 series computer. We're going to show you how to get inside and swap out your battery and your motherboard in this video. Uh, they're right near each other, you access them the same way, so we're just going to do two components in one video, uh, the battery and your motherboard. So, uh, In order to get started on this repair, we're going to flip your computer over. We're going to start removing your screws. You've got uh, two screws here, two screws here, two in the middle, one up top. And in this computer, you have two tiny rubber feet on the top corners. Uh, pry those off with a small flathead screwdriver. Uh, there are two screws under there. And there's also a screw hidden under each of, of your top rubber feet as well. What I do is I take a small flathead screwdriver, I go in, in the corner, and I gently pry up one of the feet uh, to check if there's screws there. And uh, in this model, there are two up here, there are none down here. Uh, so, but if your model differs slightly, make sure that you check out those feet because you're definitely strong enough to rip this case off with one or two screws still attached. So you don't want to do that. Uh, if you have any questions as we're going through this, uh, check out the frequently asked questions in the description. Save yourself some time. If you don't see your question answered there, uh, feel free to leave us a comment. We do try to get back to you at least a couple times a day. Okay, so we'll finish taking out these screws in the bottom case. Two more up top. Okay, now we take your small metal uh, pry tool and we're going to open this computer up a little bit. And we're going to go along the seam here uh, between your palm rest and your bottom case. You're going to gently try to pry them apart. Especially if it hasn't been opened ever or in a long time. This may take some time. Ooh, there we go. Speaker just came out. So this is what you want to look out for in a lot of these computers as you're taking it apart. If you see here, there's two ribbon cables that are fastened to the palm rest down to the motherboard. So you don't just want to pop this off and rip it out. Um, and usually you have a lot less playroom than in this one. This one opens all the way up. It's nice. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my uh, plastic pry tool. And I'm going to open up these fasteners so I can get these ribbon cables out. And then I'll show you what the, they look like after I get these out of the way. So you'll know how to, how to take these out. So there's your palm rest. Put that off to the side. Okay, so what we're looking at here, these were our fasteners. Uh, this is your first one there where the uh, keyboard ribbon was in, and this is the other one where the smaller cable was in. Now, these are little plastic clamps, sorry, little plastic snaps. They pop up to release your ribbon cable, and then they snap down to secure it. So be very careful with these. These are very breakable, and, and there's very hard to find replacements for these. And even if you do find a replacement, you'll probably break it uh, when you try to install it. So be very careful with these. Um, so I take my flat pry tool, I slide it underneath and pop it up. And then once I get my, my ribbon cable out, I snap it back down for safety. Uh, same thing with this one. I pop it up and then I put it back down for safety so, so nothing catches on it uh, and, and breaks it. So after that's done, uh, there's your battery right there. Uh, as with any computer repair, first thing you do anyway is, is take out your battery. Uh, there's screws one, two, three, four on top, two down here in, in the center. So we're going to unscrew the battery. Be very careful poking around in here with your metal screwdriver. Try not to touch anything you shouldn't touch. Nice and slow. All right, now the only thing left is to unplug it. So as you can see here, this fastener is not like uh, the ribbon cables. This does not snap up. These, uh, if you can see, there's a little space there and a little space there. I'm gonna put a fingernail 
in each finger on either side and wiggle it out. Uh, resist the urge to grab your cords or your cables and wires and, 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 and pull on these. Uh, generally speaking, that, that breaks. The wires can come right out of the, of the port. So I'm gonna put a fingernail here, a fingernail on the other side, and then just wiggle that out. There you go. And then you're good. And that pops right out. If you're looking on how to replace this, the part number is up here in the corner. It'll say HP. This part number is PE03. P is in Paul, E is in Edward03, notebook battery. Uh, yours may say something different. Uh, so keep an eye out there if you're looking for the part. Also, HP part numbers are usually six digits, dash, three digits. So if you look down here, you'll see this part number. It says replace with HP spare number 767068-005. That's the other part number that you can read if you're looking for a, a replacement. Generally, a good place to find used replacements is eBay or Amazon. Uh, there are some other sites that sell them too, but those are the main ones. And then in order to replace this, you would just snap it back in place, plug the port in, and replace those four screws on top, two screws on the bottom. So in this part of the video now, we'll move on. We'll show you how to replace your motherboard, how to unplug this, how to get everything out of it, uh, and take it up, and then how to put it back in correctly. So uh, first of all, we want to unplug everything from the motherboard. Zoom in a little bit for you. All right. So first thing we just start unplugging stuff. So over here, there's a ribbon cable connecting your SD board to your motherboard. So it's the same kind of fastener we saw with the palm rest. So I'm gonna slide my pry tool in, pop that up, get that ribbon cable out and snap that back down for safety. Uh, next, you have your Wi-Fi card here. The antenna wires run to your Wi-Fi card. The Wi-Fi card plugs into this port and then it's also screwed down so it doesn't shift in there. Uh, so very easily just to pop up your antenna wires like that, unscrew the Wi-Fi card screw right there, keep that screw separate because uh, that's a different size than the other ones, and then you just slide your Wi-Fi card out of the port. Uh, this is your power jack that comes in, same kind of connection as, as the battery, so I'm going to put a fingernail on each side and pull that out, like that. Uh, this is your LCD cable up top that goes to your LCD, that's the same kind of connection as down here that flips up. So take your small uh, flat pry tool, pop that up, and then this just slides out. Pop that back down for safety. And last but not least over here, uh, you have your speaker wire. Now this is kind of, uh, it's like the one uh, with your power jack and your battery, but there's less space on either side for your fingernails, so this is a little bit more pain in the butt, but just be patient and then just pry that out like that. So as far as I can see, that's all that's screwed into the motherboard. Now that's left is to take up the actual screws. Um, when you go to take these screws up, a nice helpful hint, because as you can see, there are holes in the motherboard where there are no screws. So in order to put the screws back in the right spot when you're putting it down, there are white triangles or arrows that point toward the holes that a screw should be. So that's very helpful when you're gonna put this motherboard back in. All right. Now always be careful when you're taking the motherboard out, there's a chance that we missed a screw or we missed a cable. So uh, motherboards can definitely break if they bend too much. So be careful taking it out. But I'm pretty sure I have everything. So I'm gonna gently lift it up and gently lift away from where your ports are. Oftentimes your ports are inset into the case so that they can't just come right up. So lift up your motherboard, slide it away from the ports and it, and it comes right up. So again, for a part number, if you're looking to replace your motherboard, again, HP part numbers are six digits, dash, three digits. So in this case, you're looking at 783089-001. Uh, keep an eye out for that kind of part number on your motherboard. If you can't find that sticker, you can always go down here. Uh, there's a long digit here, DAY07MB for motherboard 16D1. Uh, so you can use that as well. Um, this is the six digits dash three digits is is a preferable part number. So in order to get this stuff back in now, um, 
just put the slide this back in first make sure these ports are in make sure your wires are all free you're not putting it on top of anything get that nice and flat in there and then we can start screwing things down now I'm screwing things down right away because there wasn't that many items plugged into the motherboard I'm pretty confident that they're all kind of free um, for larger computers with more items plugged in you may want to start plugging things in before you start screwing it down um, there's nothing more aggravating than screwing a motherboard down with all the screws and then realizing that your speaker wire is caught underneath it or something like that so maybe you may want to plug your items in first and then screw your motherboard down All right, so the motherboard screwed down. I'm gonna pop this up here, slide my LCD cable back in, snap that back down. When you're putting these down, oftentimes ribbon cables, if you notice here, it is a black line. Oftentimes on ribbon cables, there is a line that you can use to judge whether or not it's in there flush. So like if you put it in like that, you can tell it if this line is nice and straight and you know it's in there securely. Uh, take your power jack. I'll plug that back in over here Make sure everything's still in the grooves that they should be in Okay, uh, Wi-Fi card plug that back into the port Like that Get my Wi-Fi screw screw this down here go and then I put in my antenna wires I get it lined up and I just snap it in with a flathead screwdriver they can be kind of a pain just go slow take your time there we go you may take a few tries uh, what next? We got your speaker wires that plugs in here. All right, and again, there wasn't that much stuff to plug in, so LCD, power jack, SD board, Wi-Fi card, speakers. Bring over the battery. Plug the battery back in its port. And then I replace these screws. There, 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 and then two there. Uh, and then you bring your palm wrist back over. You pop these connectors up, slide these in, and then you just snap this back in place and your computer should be fine. If nothing's, if, if something isn't working right after that, your touchpad or something, odds are it's because you didn't plug it in. Um, for example, I didn't plug in my touchpad wire, uh, so that could be why. But it, again, if there are any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if this was helpful, please like and share and subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks for watching.